Hey, how are you? So in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to get brands to pay attention to you so that you can receive free products. I am also going to be teaching you what to do if you want to reach out to big brands or to companies to send you products, how to create a media kit, where to find a media kit, how to get brands to find you on social media, and what apps do I recommend for you to start collaborating with brands. So if you want to learn more about this important and very valuable information, keep watching. The first thing that you have to do on social media is that you have to build a portfolio. And it's really not complicated. You can start with products that you already have and upload the content to your Instagram or whichever app you're using. Doing so, it's going to create a portfolio that you can show brands when you are requesting products. So if you wanna receive free products, what I recommend doing is that you start reaching out to brands when I first started, I googled brands that send PR to small influencers and I started sending them emails. And to be honest with you, a lot of people didn't answer, but I always thought to myself, the worst thing that they can tell you no or that they ignore me. But there were companies that said yes. Once you send the company a pitch, I suggest always checking your spelling and don't overwrite a lot of information. The more brief you can be, and the more descriptive you can be, the better it is. The goal is for you to tell the brand why it is mutually beneficial for you guys to collaborate together. Another place where you can reach out to brands is on Instagram. You can use hashtags to search for them and you can, for example, if you wanna find something in beauty, you would write beauty companies and then search through them to Instagram or you can Google them like I told you guys. Another great tip that I can give you guys is to use hashtags in your bio because this is going to help companies discover you on social media. If you notice my Instagram, I have hashtag beauty, hashtag fashion, hashtag lifestyle and this has really helped me because when a company is searching for you then they can just find you in a very easy way. Another important fact is that you should put your email in your bio. A lot of agencies are often looking for influencers and they don't have time to go into the app because sometimes they're on their desktop. So if they can just copy and paste, then it is easier for them to get in touch with you. What you should also be doing is creating a media kit and you really don't need a lot of editing experience. I would say no editing experience whatsoever. On Etsy, they have tons of templates where you can find a media kit. And what is a media kit? Well, it's like a sheet where you would have all your analytical information and when you reach out to a brand, you can send them this. So in the analytical information, you would put how many subscribers you have, how many followers on Instagram, how many story views you get. And my advice is to always be honest because if they ask you for screenshots or to connect your Instagram, yeah, you wanna be honest and very transparent with the brands and that is going to take you a long way. So once you go to Etsy, you don't need a software to edit that template. Instead, there is a website called Canva and in there you can make beautiful edits to that Etsy media kit template that you got. My advice would be to always check the description to see if that template that you're buying is compatible with Canva. In my opinion, what I've noticed that really gets the collab happening is that you are consistent with your content and that your pictures are high quality. So you really don't need a professional camera to take good quality pictures. All you need to do is just have a steady hand and the sun and a window. Those are your best friends. So always take pictures in front of a window when it's sunny outside. Don't let the light hit you straight. But natural lighting is absolutely beautiful in photography and in video. I am filming this video right now with natural lighting. So those are your best friends and you can actually use your iPhone. That's how I started. 
You don't need expensive softwares or cameras, just work with what you have. And if you notice that you're running out of inspiration, then I would just suggest getting on websites like Pinterest and really seeing what other creators have done and take that as inspiration for your content. So another tool that you can use are apps where you can collaborate with other companies. Think of the app like an agency that connects you with the beauty companies. There's one that I really like called Octoly. There's another one called Influencer. And then from there, there are a whole bunch of them where you can easily just connect your Instagram and then apply for the campaign. I wanna share a quote with you guys, especially if you're watching this video and you're starting out. Okay, so my camera died and like I told you guys, you can be filming with your phone too. I'm filming this video with my iPhone with the front camera. And the same basically states how a river cuts through a rock not because of its strength, but because of its persistence. I have no idea who said this. I am going to be listing it here. Um, and that quote really motivates me and empowers me. And one more thing. So I really admire Huda Beauty and Mona Katan. And in case you guys don't know, they built a billion dollar company. You probably used their brand before. They sell it at Sephora. But Mona wrote to me because I asked her how was she able to stay motivated and what she did during the process of making Huda Beauty so successful with her family. And she told me that she basically didn't lose motivation because everything in life starts small and then it grows. Think of it as a plant. You plant the seed and then you have to water it until it grows. It's like that with everything in life. If you're first starting out, work with what you have and just be consistent and be very good with time management and always be responsible and professional with your work. I hope that this video really helped you and that you can share it with someone who you think is going to need it. If you haven't subscribed, if you're new, welcome. My name is Marinella and I hope that you subscribe before you go and I will see you next time. Bye.